It has been a while since I last did a video on how to make dark orchestral vocal melodies for 504M, Postmoke, New York drill type of stuff. So in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the real process that I follow when making this kind of melodies. Plus, I'll be giving away for free the melody in my Discord server. Just follow the link in the description. And then in the sample section of the server I'm gonna pin the melody that I used in today's tutorial. Let's go! This is gonna be a super beginner friendly tutorial because the sounds that I used are pretty common. I didn't do that many things so I'm confident that you guys will be able to learn something out of it. So as you can see, this is the project of the melody. Even if it might look complicated, trust me that it is not. I'm gonna explain you every sound I use. I started with this element from Contact. It's called Middle East Strings. I'm also gonna show you the mixing process of it. So we have a pancake at one fourth, an equalizer like this, another equalizer, a fruity chorus, and lastly we have an RC20 to give it a bit of kind of distortion and vintage feeling. But so this is without mixing. And this is with mixing. Next element, Strings of Winter. And I didn't do any mixing for this one, so it is as rough as it is. Next, I use these vocal textures from Vocalize 2 Gravity Pack 4. The only mixing I did here was the fruity stereo enhancer, so I spread out the frequencies more on the on the sides of the stereo imaging, and then I put the phase offset more on the left, as you can see here. This is without, and this is with. Tiny, tiny details that make the difference. Last element of the loop is this vocal still from Vocalize 2 Gravity Pack 4. For the mixing, I put it through the chorus. This is the default preset, and I reduced the mix level by 54%. And then Valhalla Room, just to give it a little bit of reverb and to make it be, you know, wider in terms of space in the stereo imaging. So, altogether, this is the result of the loop. So at this point what I wanted to do is to chop the melody, double click the sound, press the right click and then you go to open a new slice X channel, press this one here, like this, you press the right click, go to medium grid slicing, activate the envelope, you do something like this. And once you're done with that you end up on the piano roll and you'll see something like this. Obviously you get rid of the, all these things so you press cancel. So what you want to do at this point is to find some notes of the piano roll that work good together that sound nice to you, to your ears. Obviously I'm not gonna do it again because I already did it but in case you wanted to know how to chop melodies this is the way I personally do it. So after playing around a little bit with the notes of the piano roll I came up with this melody here.
So after doing that, I rendered out the pattern where I was working on. So press the right click and then press to quick render as audio clip. Eventually, you'll get this audio clip like this. And then since I wasn't that satisfied with the result of the melody, I decided to mix it a little bit further. So I put a fully chorus, an EQ, fresh air, and also an imager, a limiter to increase, just to boost the gain of the, of the sample. So this is the end result of it. I'm also gonna play without the mixing so you can understand. With mixing. Rather than just like this. As you notice, it sounds way cleaner, more wide and also with more body. I hope you guys have learned something out of this tutorial. Don't forget to join the Discord server if you want to get the melody. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Staples. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, and man, see you next time. Bow.